Okay guys and gals, this is the tenth video in the series, How to Build a Reloading Bench. We are ready for the Grand Tour, but before we give the Grand Tour, I want to tell all my subscribers and all my viewers, it's really important that you follow along in this video and then watch the next video and here's why. If you have subscribed to my channel and you're a business owner, you believe in our Constitution, you believe in our Second Amendment, and you're a member of the NRA, I will give three of my subscribers a chance to send me graphics of their business and I will put their graphics in my background for at least three months. So the only cost to you will be your cost in making the graphics and then sending me the graphics. And when you do that, three people will have their graphics in my background. I will give a review of their business. I will give them a shout out and your graphics will be hanging in my business or in my background for at least three months. So follow along and I'll show you exactly where the graphics will go and next video I'll give you the details. So with that in mind, let me give you the grand tour. So, the benches turned out really great. The color I used was the Gunstock 231 by Minwax. Okay. So as you can see, it turned out really good. So there's the Hornady single stage press to the left. There's the Hornady powder measure on the stand. There's the Hornady powder scale for weighing your powder charges. Turned out really good. It looks really good sitting on the bench. So now, let me come around here, show you guys a little more. Remember, all you need is bullets and powder, right? <laughs> so now those of you that have had a hard time finding 22 ammo, you could blame me. <laughs> blame old high boy, okay? So up here we have the OHA's balance. Now if you're learning about the beam type scales, go back. I have a lot of videos on those and I take this balance and I set it next to the beam type scales and I kind of show you the characteristics of a balance and I show you how the beam type scales work and I even show you how to dial them in for the correct uh, uh, measurement okay so so now I have some pins here let me tell you a little bit about these pins because my viewers ask me a lot about these pins the top two were given to me by a really great friend. I met him here at YouTube. His name is John. He sent me the Top Root 66 pin. And then he also sent me the 200 year anniversary of the Samuel L. Colt pistol. He's got the, the dual re revolvers on that. So John sent that to me. John, if you're watching this, man, you're such a great friend and you humble me, brother. Thank you very much. So now these are just little uh, revolvers, miniature revolvers that my wife collects. And we're going to do a video series on some pewter guns and things of that nature in the women's beginning reloading. And my wife and me will tell you a little bit about those. This revolver right here, it's a miniature. It has a little uh, knife blade that comes out the end. So when we do that video, I'll show you a little bit about that. So this is just things that we collect, okay? All right. So now I have a lot of viewers ask me about my coffee pot. Well, I don't have a coffee pot, but I do have a coffee brewer. A coffee pot is a glass pot that you would brew your coffee into, or maybe like a pot is a, something you'd cook your pot of stew in. But this is a coffee brewer. And what I did is I took my own pictures, just like on these, I took my own pictures, and then I had them made into graphics. I went and I purchased this brewer, I put the graphics on there, and then I took this air pot, and I put the Hornady uh, uh, symbol on there, and yes, guys, that is what I shoot right there. And I love the big 
uh, XTPs, the 240 frame, 40 caliber, or 240 grain, 44 mag XTPs right there. I love those. Uh, they make uh, Hornady makes they make the uh, best commercial ammunition on the market right there. They, they they do the best. Okay, so there's our Superman coffee cup with our uh, dark Costa Rican. Got some awesome Hornady reloading equipment on the bench. Got the uh, my Hornady mirror mounted. Got part of my Hornady bullet chart hung. So we're styling. So now let me tell you about my graphics. Then I'm going to tell you about the graphics that I want to offer you if you're a business owner. So this is just graphics that I made up and I put it in the background and and uh, just wanting to spice it up so it looks good for the viewers. Let me tell you about this. That's that's a gift. One of my friends on the firearms forum made for me. He took that uh, black and white background, put it in that etch a sketch, put 76 High Boy, and uh, integrated it with the American flag. And there you see the NRA country. So this guy was a really good friend. So now let me tell you about the graphics that I am looking to put in the background that would support my viewers. You see that empty space right there? I am looking for three people that are business owners that are subscribed to me that support our Constitution, our Second Amendment, and are members of the NRA. There will be three people that I will let put their graphics in the background and on the next video I will give you the details. And the reason I'm doing that is it's my way, it's my little way of thanking my subscribers for supporting me. So, let's give you uh, just uh, uh, a real nice view of the M1 rifle. You know, after I, uh, while I was doing this this top, I thought, man, I gotta get that M1 on here. It's gonna look really good. So, so there we go. Isn't that a gorgeous rifle? Oh yeah. All the way, huh? So, the, the bench top, it, it turned out really good really good I will tell you one negative is it is it it shows the scratches easy but that's okay you know when they get scratched up enough I'll I'll uh, strip it down and I'll put another you know coat of clear on it and then it, it'll be back to normal so you guys all make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy okay make doggone sure you got a fire extinguisher handy okay so, a little overview here. So I hope that this series has uh, given the viewers and the subscribers an idea of how you can build your bench. And I hope that uh, as you progress along, maybe my ideas will help you. And uh, so that's pretty much the end of this video. So, now make sure that if you're a business owner or you know someone that's a business owner that uh, fits the criteria have them watch the next video and maybe they can get their graphics or you can get your graphics on my my video hey last but not least you gotta have a little miniature revolvers hanging just like that <laughs> yeah, see, my wife really likes to collect these, so I just thought I'd hang her revolvers. One last thing, you see these revolvers here? If you're new to my channel or you haven't seen this, those three revolvers in that picture, those are my revolvers. And this one right here, is that one hanging right there? Is that one hanging right there? I've shot a lot through that. So, I will be reloading uh, for this one here in about a year. So, follow along, okay? All right, guys and gals, that's the end of this video. And I appreciate everyone for following along. I hope you find this series on how to build a reloading bench helpful. And I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless and thank you.